Like, do you find it's more snappy? Like, do you find QT5 it's quicker? and me, we go back a long way, Sandy. You know, <laughs> me, QT5 was with me at the beginning in the early days. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm old man Ben, that's young man Jordan, and that is Sandrew Martin, both of them joining us from the Isles of Canada. We're on a one big island. The, the, we call the, it a the continent. Sun, the sunny beaches of Canada. Yes, that place. Together with you, Shat Realm Dynamic, helping us form. You know him, you love him. Cocaine. Voltron. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is another interesting week. For Linux and gaming news, you might have missed out. We did a uh, Wizards and Shit spoilers cast. Might yeah. be a thing. Might oh, be happening yeah. weekly, but that'll be available for patrons if you've been wondering, like, our thoughts on the first two Lord of the Rings episodes and, uh, of course, House of Dragons. Is it House of Dragons? House of the Dragons. Yes. Dragons, all right. The, Wizards yeah, and Shit. Yeah, Dragon. that yeah. one. So that is going to be available. It was too spoilery, so we're just going to have to chop it off and make it kind of its own thing. But... What's going on, everybody? I, uh, man, I got a story to tell everyone. If you follow me on Twitter, you will have, uh, captured my, like, really? That was it? So I'm getting ready to go to bed. This is, I don't know, last Sunday, Monday. And I'm upstairs. I'm chilling out in the kitchen, having a cup of tea, getting ready to go to sleep, watching something on a tablet. And I hear the sound of water dripping on metal. That ding. Ding. but it wasn't repeating and i thought as it's like is that playing on the video got the video off yeah. standing in the middle of the kitchen ding like, where, where? And i thought it was the electric kettle like cooling off mm. maybe making that sound unplug got to the point where i took the kettle and i'm like i need to put it in the freezer to close it so it wasn't and ding what the absolute hell is this I'm under the sink, like listening, trying to sort this out. Ding. Like, halfway up under the hob. Like, is it, where is this? And like walking out of the kitchen. Like, and sometimes it's like two or three minutes before the ding. Like, God damn it, it is in the kitchen. And what can only be described as frustration. I was in front of the stove and I looked up. And one of the big light fixtures, I saw a fuck mother and grasshopper. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That happened to go jump dink. It's like mother yeah. fucker. <laughs> well, that's well over an hour of searching for this grasshopper. So patience grasshopper. Oh man. Uh yeah, we did that also. If like the show just we disconnect uh thread boopers power supply. I'm assuming it's power supply. Being a little uh, grumpy. Mm. When we finished um, Back for Brad. So I rendered that out on Friday and rendered everything out. And I'm like, good. And some oddity happened. I'm like, I need to restart the system. So I hot booted Threadbooper. And it's like, click, click. I'm like, God damn it. Uh oh. Yeah. That like immediate power off. Like it starts and stops. I'm like, self test failed. Ooh. That's uh, a billion things that could be wrong. And um, I unplugged it. Wait. Plugged it back in came back on i'm like okay i think it's the electrolytics and the psu that are i i just immediately just stopped as soon as i got back to a desktop i ordered a replacement PSU? psu which was hopefully going to be here today but not um not like amazon's gonna be my money back i guess that'll be here tomorrow but i genuinely praying to flying spaghetti monster that that's it because i really don't want to be buying a five-year-old threadripper motherboard replacement right now <laughs> um, yeah no doubt it's an antique <laughs> Right, it belongs in a museum. <laughs> so, you know what? To the graces, everybody who's used our humble store because that pretty much matched up what that check was. Um, because I was like, hey, we could do nope, guess we're not doing anything with that money. Uh, but also, if you're wondering right now, there's a you can get the EVGA bronze 850 uh, at 66% off for whatever because you need the dual EPS. You, can't just use yeah. your regular ordinary sane fucking power supplies for these things so yeah there's uh there there's my warning right there if uh we just disappear from the show but it seems like it's fine like it didn't well, want to start up this afternoon when i got home i had to cycle it a couple of times and it finally came back up so hopefully and let's just all hope that 
it's just the PSU when I swap that out and everything's kosher. I'll be very, very pleased. How about you, one Sandy Martin? I thought you were reading Thunderbolts? Yeah. So uh, recently, Jim one? Zub, the creator of uh, a very popular comic series. Skull uh, Kickers? Yes, thank you. I was literally waiting. <laughs> I was like, come on, Jordan. You know what I'm talking about. So, so he's famous for Skull Kickers. Recently, he just got signed on by Marvel to do... Uh, they say it's going to be a continuation but I think it's just going to be a mini series of the Thunderbolts, which is uh, a group that came out back in the early nineties. It's supposed to be a bunch of reform villains become Mar- Marvel, superheroes. Marvel suicide squad for, for, for those of yeah. you who, uh, yeah, it's, it's exactly. the Marvel equivalent of suicide squad. But exactly. the, 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 this one, this one is different. I've heard, I've heard a uh, hair Zub talking about it on Twitter. There, there's, there's a new character I'm interested in named guts and glory. I'm, I'm curious to see what happens with him. Because it's such a stupid yeah, name. I'm I'm very curious. I'm getting very like cable vibes from him, like just it's it's really. But Jim Zub is always he knows his he knows his comic history. Like it shows in his writing. Like he knows how to do like multiple characters in the story. So I was definitely enjoying the first issue. I'm looking forward to the second issue, and then in the meantime, you know, I got. An older daughter now who's got a job. She's 16 now, so it's like never wants to make time with dad anymore. What? What? Would you remember like, parents being an abject embarrassment to you? Yeah. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> that that happens to all teenagers? Like, yeah. yeah I, I, when you wrote that in the notes, I'm like, yeah, I remember like the biggest horror in life was having to go somewhere with your parents. Oh, oh, oh man, but God, like, yeah. but Sandy was looking forward to his opportunity to inflict torture <laughs> on his child, right? Exactly. You gotta pay it forward. No, she's, I mean, she's like, literally denying me before I can even get a chance. We, I'm just like, how am on. I supposed to get my revenge? You don't want to be seen. That was, you've probably been there. You're like, could you drop me off and just keep going? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Drop, drop me, <laughs> drop me like, like a block away from where I'm actually yeah, just, going. No lock. Can you, can you just do like a slow roll so that way I can like jump out of the moving vehicle? It makes me look cool. I, uh, <laughs> Uh, we've got to mention at the top of the show, Shatbot is having Shatbot issues, so uh, we're mm. only getting um, Twitch to Discord right now. So if you want your text to show up down there, you got to type on uh, Twitch. I think that's how it's working mm. right now, right? Yeah. Somebody will type something in Twitch and it might pop up, and if it doesn't, be like, oh, I guess that died too. Um, <laughs> Nuke it. <laughs> Jordan, you've been uh, skeleton shopping? Uh, not, not skeleton shopping, but, you know, it's it's coming to the end of summer so all the gardening shit's on sale so you go to home depot to try and get, grab some shit that's cheap i also needed to buy a saw um oh you decided to buy a saw i, I bought two saws so oh. I did you see saw yeah i i, I saw saw and then i bought then I, then I bought the saw yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I, but i was wandering through home depot as you do they have they have the Actually, I think shit that might no, have been the hell Costco. I don't wander through, man. Home Depot will fuck me out of like four or five hundred bucks every time. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because construction construction supplies are expensive, but you're like, I got a project in mind. I could build that. Yeah, shit. Uh, I think that no. I, now that I'm remembering, I think that's actually at Costco. But either, either way, I, I saw Frank and I'm like, hey, Frank, how's it going? And uh, he's, he's showing off his uh, brand new fiance, wife, whatever. I, I I didn't ask, so yeah, that was, that was a pleasant <laughs> social interaction. I would get it, but I would have to scroll up, and that would violate. Uh, do I still have it in my clipboard? Uh, no, but I can Aww. scroll. Ah, scrolling. Scroll. 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 Fred, Dur- Fred Durst. Aren't you Fred always Durst. surprised every now and then when Google does a good and you type in something like PC case into your Google Photos, and it gets you like at least within the time frame of where you took that one picture? Like, <laughs> yeah. Good on you. Oh, damn it! Thank you. App- app- apparently, copying the image. Right out of Discord is too big. I'm not gonna fuck around with it. God damn it. No. Do you, do you get a link? Uh no, because I uploaded it from my phone. Here, you know what? I'm gonna do that again. <laughs> so, uh what else is new? Uh blue thing's still working. It, that's I, I've, good. I've been letting it, I've, I've been A B testing it because yesterday, uh day before yesterday, I posted on Twitter. There was uh somebody's worked out a mathematical formula for trying to kind of emulate what the AFX compeller does for our live streams. And he posted right, it with it. the uh, JSFX stuff. So that might be interesting to be able to share with everybody. It's only going to work with the Reaper DAW, 
But if you've been looking for something like, especially a podcast, or you get multiple, you know, a rogues gallery and discord chat, something that can sit there and try to keep everybody balanced at a certain level, level where yeah. you said you're uh, in, in, in uh, discord, uh, live chat that we're in right now. Uh, li- li- yeah. Live chat that we're in right now. You posted it. I did. Where? Oh, people, people posted shit after it because they're inconsiderate jerks. I don't know. <laughs> Having, having conversations Get in our em. community. How dare they? Okay, hang on. This better be great. You monsters. Let's see. Uh, there we are. Everything we dream There of. we go. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, look, look at that. Look, 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 look at Frank and his, his happy missus. Wait, did, does Frank come with a plug? Yes. Looks Frank like he's vibrates. got a money clip. <laughs> he, vi- he vibrates. So didn't you know that's that's how we got a girlfriend? Oh. Mm. That's the wrong button. Um... Something that no longer vibrates, it just kind of mm, gelatinates because that's a new verb. <laughs> just, yeah. It's an action verb. <laughs> yeah, you know, so, yeah. I, I mean, I mean, that's what that's what the Daleks do once they're out of like the shells, right? They're like gelatinate, gelatinate. It's the steam. Oh, 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 oh my god. god! It's confirmed. It's happening, you guys. You know, at least. So, what do you think? At least three times possibly four times a year we get a half-life three confirmation this isn't necessarily that confirmation nay it's not but half-life three artwork produced by valve has been revealed online suggesting how the fps sequel to half-life 2 might have looked and if it ever made it to steam this comes from pc games in well this is going to be in our show notes but yeah i kind of want to i don't want to take away from the guy's video so i got a couple of timestamps i'm going to get to jordan what are your thoughts on this because this apparently came by because valve moved house at some point and yeah. uh, somebody just rang them up and like yo can so, I get shit? yeah apparently this dude has been like a valve super fan for a while he has multiple contacts within valve itself and he just like gets all the art and stuff that they put on the walls and when valve um when valve moved offices he's just like yo can i can i get some stuff that you're leaving and they shipped it to him and he's going through and he's uh, according to the, i'll just summarize what the video said or he's he's scanning them the images in the video are initial scans he's like gonna go and like actually clean them up later you can tell that it's like the the bar scanner where you like does one segment at a time but we get we get a bunch of concept art uh there's some stuff from like here from half-life 3 that looks really dope there's like this one looks like it's something out of star wars they have so, that that looks like a still suit out of the 1980s dune movie for by david lynch yeah. there there there's some, there's some cool stuff in there um Lots of striking looking vistas. It would have been pretty cool to explore through all of them. Also, there's some uh, initial left for bad stuff. Yeah, this this lady boomer <laughs> right here is fucking hilarious. Ah. I saw this and I I was laughing my ass off. There's also like a weird snake zombie lady in there that also looked pretty dope. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, no. So um, def- Valve isn't going to be working on Half Life Three, or if if they are, they're definitely not going to fucking tell us. Um, but at the same time, it's cool. It's cool to sort of see like the in development stuff, the the what may have been, um, and we 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 can dream about sitting in front of our computer and playing this dream version of Half Life Three that I feel will follow the plot of Full Life Consequences just because my brain is rotten. What about the penis? <laughs> yeah, that, that that was definitely a penis. That was yeah. a penis. Oh I'm yeah, even, that was it, definitely a penis. I, I'm not even going to fight YouTube over that. I'm not even going to show it. Um, no. Yeah. No. 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 no the, yeah. There there, there are a couple of things that are like. That's phallic. That's a that's a phase <laughs> yeah, one drug. That's, some, some. And it's not even just one phallic. It's double ended. <laughs> like let's let's get real here. That was a double ended phallic. Space penis. All right. Yeah. So uh what else do we have? We got good news, everybody. That Linux market share. We're rolling in it. Maybe not exactly where I thought we'd be rolling in it by now, but we're at one point two seven percent all the way from one point two three. Good news, everybody. We finally not kind of arrived, but we got to look at the big boss here. Steam Mm -hmm. Hollow. 64 bit up 6% month over month. I feel like we're doing stocks every time I do these. Yeah, (laughs) it it, it took a chunk out of Arch Linux and Manjaro for sure. Um, Oh, yeah. I I, I think that's where that migration went is it's they're all going to the latest version of uh, Ubuntu 2204 or Steam OS. Um, Yeah, the the, the numbers are pretty small, but I also you also got to think like the number of Steam decks out there versus the entire Steam user base Mm -hmm. is probably pretty small. So like uh, like a point three percent or yeah point three percent bump. Well, Hollow is at 13 percent. Like yeah. an arch is at 10. Um, other arch, Manjaro arch, why do we even split that off? 8%. But we saw that big bump with 2204 and it went up like 8%. Yeah. And uh, free desktop, flat pack runtime, 4%. Pop 
Pop at 4%. Hey, that's not bad. Linux Mint, 4%. Ubuntu and other at 37.89%. And that's all Suzy users, probably. I don't know. Yeah, and, and me. I'm, I'm the one Fedora user in there. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, I, I guess me and Eggy, technically. And Flip It. Yeah. So three, all, three, all three of us. The did, triumvirate. Did we see anything? Um, you know, I, I think I probably made the prediction if anybody wants to go look it up. I was thinking maybe by year's end, um, with, you know, counting the Steam decks, we'd be seeing, if not, like within spitting distance of 2%. But I don't think so. I don't yeah, think I, 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 I think, again, it's just like there are way more computers out there than, than Steam decks, right? Like right. I, it's, it's going to take sure. a minute for that to catch up. What percentage uh, I does? Like, I mean, I wanted to be the Steam Deck. I wanted something. I wanted something where developers are like, "Oh, it's insignificant." I'm like two percent is uh, what's Mac at? All right, if you had to guess, Mac, Mac is that? at like two percent. Yeah. So yeah, I two, two or three, like two point six or something like that. Mac percent. Okay, I don't know how to use your website. I'm dumb. Uh, give me a minute. Combine. Combines, yeah. Damn you, OS though. <laughs> uh, yeah, OS ten is two point five percent. Okay. Damn it. Do you think Price we can hit, do, okay by twenty the end of twenty twenty three everything's going swimmingly with a Steam Deck? Valve doesn't do anything crazy like the second month of twenty twenty three say hey the Steam Deck two is getting ready to, which just <laughs> slices all cells. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but they, I can't see them announcing something like that until like say like Christmas time or January, like because otherwise yeah it would definitely cut a slice through their sales right now. Yeah, one point two seven percent for Linux, two point five. But I mean, Apple's got its own problems with the M one because nobody wants to like tinker with it. Yeah, but no. like, yeah, li- Linux usage would literally have to double on Steam for it to yeah. get caught up. I don't know. Um, but you know, it, it, it's it's only the start, right? The Steam Deck has what? Wh- when did it start shipping? In like February, when people started actually getting theirs. Uh, Marchish. It, yeah, it was late February, early March. Hmm, yeah, so like, it's it, it's only been a few months, right? Like right. It, it takes yeah. time. We'll yeah. see by years end. Um, Assuming they get all the uh, orders fulfilled, right? There's, we've come a long way from like not point seven. Yeah, <laughs> on a good month. Yeah. I, re- I remember when it was exciting when we hit one percent. We're like, oh my god, you can't yeah, deny us one percent of the market. <laughs> we are oh, yeah. the one percent. So, uh, Valve has got an, an entire experiment section that you might have accidentally entered and you're like well, why is all my shit fucked up yeah Ste- steam labs i think you do have to opt into it yeah. but uh that that said maybe you misclicked a button and then everything is different and you hate it well uh maybe you won't hate this this is experiment number 14 every time i see these i think of like mystery science theater 3000 episodes yeah but this is the discovery q update uh so you might remember that carousel that is at the top of the store page it's they're trying to give you more information about the game. Um, they're going to be including stuff like an actual screenshot of the game, uh, some similar games, um, the owning data. Um, yeah. Uh, and the I guess the idea is you can also pull this up regardless of what page you're on within Steam. So the idea is like if you're looking through stuff and then you can be like, oh, well, what's the what's the next thing on the list? Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. The. I, I gotta I gotta give Valve credit because they're they're willing to like go out and fail with these things. They're just like, hey, we have an idea. Go try it out. Let's let's see if you like it or not. And if it's a good improvement, then we'll mainline it into the Steam client. If we don't, we'll chuck it out. Uh, so that's that's always good. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I think the for me the biggest thing is in game screenshots. Like that's as much as you can make a nice title. There are some decent artists there that can make like nice titles for their games, but at the end of the day, like people want to see gameplay. And so like, I'm very happy with like just seeing like in-game screenshots of a title. So I'm definitely looking forward to just having this as part of the store. Yeah. Like I I will say it's annoying, but I appreciate like having the developers like live streaming the games on steam. Cause you can at least like see what the game looks like in action as yes. opposed to like, here's, here's the stuff in the carousel, which is usually like, single screenshots that are like polished or just like not useful information. So yeah. Yeah. I no, mean, we, d- we can definitely make the argument that valve uh, sometimes remember that they have a streaming service built in. <laughs> like, what? Oh, right. Right. It would be nice if we could just stream 
content to it instead of having to do it through Valve saying, like, you're going to do it our way. I'm like, no, I'm just not putting up with that bullshit. Now, I am always curious. I, I Part of me believes some, there was a bet internally at Valve to bring down a modern browser multi-core, eight-core, 16-thread <laughs> CPU with their fucking web pages because they're getting gnarly, man. Like, when you go to some of the newer ones, uh, for like the news page and stuff like that, it's trying to be intelligent, but it just it's a bit chunky. Oh yeah, very chunky. I don't know. I don't know. I don't we're, know. We're, we'll just knock all that out of your mind because we got the top releases of July, and we live in this weird time now where uh, we can kind of just play them all, right? Oh yeah. Like uh, so, Valve came out with some of the the top Steam releases, and uh, they were talking about like how a good chunk of the the big releases that came out were sim games so uh now if you remember back earlier in the year i believe it was uh march they did the the sim fest and uh that was a huge seller because you had like different types of sims and stuff like that coming out and now like due to the recent uh what is wrong with this is uh, is just humanity power wash the ability i mean yeah (laughs) <laughs> yeah, people, no, people, people, you know what? There are people that love that. I have seen so many videos pop up for that game. Like it's it, just well, crazy. Like it, it costs a hundred dollars to like rent a power washer, or you can just to just like. And if you spray it at your neighbors, they're gonna call the cops on you. Bitch, so you can, I can do it. In, I can in the get video. a garden hose to close my eyes and pretend. <laughs> Put your thumb over the hose. Yeah. and just be like, yeah. I got a power washer. Hey, look at the uh, stray game that everyone forgot about after three days. Yeah, because yeah. it was only five hours long. Yeah, Fair. people were really excited for it. Kayak they played VR it. Mirage. No. Uh-uh. No. Uh, no. Warriors Orochi 3, Bear and Breakfast. No no Linux native games this month. It's a little sad because we usually have one or two. But to Ven's point, a lot of these things will likely run in Proton. I don't know if that will. The battle teams, random Chinese text. Was that? What was that? I don't know. See, this is something I was going to ask everybody. Has anybody like pulled the trigger on one? Because I love a um, action, or, you know, a spectacle brawler like Bayonetta, mm. stuff like that. And there's a yeah. couple that from Chinese developers that some of them look workable but i'm like i i don't know i don't have a problem like buying from a chinese developer necessarily uh i definitely have uh dynasty warriors eight empires and i, I mean D- dynasty warriors is like a main is like a is that's the, i don't think that's quite what ven want maybe maybe it is i don't know you've you've never played it dynasty is a warriors. spectacle like especially with like the mass combat it is definitely a spectacle especially with not a lot not of the not in the way it moves not in the way that Devil May Cry is, though. Where, like, no, absolutely not. Like, you don't have intricate control systems. It's still, at the end of the day, those Dynasty Warrior games are button mashing. Yeah, you see, that's what best. I'm looking for. I'm looking for a very intricate, well-thought-out um, system for combat with several stages that I can completely ignore and button my mash. All right, my the, then, yeah. then, yeah, maybe you'll like Dynasty Warriors. You can climb right. up on an elephant yeah. and step on some food people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Maybe I'll look into that. Good news, everyone. You're getting sliders for your deck. No, I'm not you getting do? hamburgers on my deck. What are you talking? No, they're talking about the <laughs> like the selection sliders, like the UI element. Yeah, so they have a new update here for the Steam client. It's in beta. Uh, so sliders uh, may have been a bit of a problem on the touchscreen. Um, so they've their solution here is um, the sliders will increment very very slowly uh, when you're when you're paging through values. But if you hold down the button, it will accelerate as you go. That's that's their compromise for having a bit of uh, better fine grain control when it comes to like the input sensitivity and stuff. Mm. Um, the controller configurator also had a bug when you had an external display plugged in, so that is fixed. And also, hey, you might not be able to use it in Oc, but you can use the emoji keyboard on your Steam Deck. Finally, nice. Yeah, Sandy, you got your nice. Steam Deck, right? Oh yeah. No, yeah. I definitely. I play around with it whenever my daughter's not trying to steal it from me, but you know, whatever. Um, yeah, no, like I haven't done the beta branch. That's I'm, I'm getting old and lazy, man. Like I just, I just as much as I would want to experiment this and test it out, I'm just I'm too lazy. Mm. I might like just I could I, I could just play XCOM instead. Yeah, exactly. Now I have a I question just, for every single one of you within the sound of my voice. Um, have you bought a game on the deck? Oh, absolutely. You know what the the funny thing is? Is the vast majority of them are all Sega games. (laughs) (laughs) 
you know, strange, uh-huh. you know, that's not as strange as it may be. There is a very long like, track record of Sega titles, Sega published and developed titles working just fantastic under wine, even going way back before Proton. Yeah, totally. absolutely. Like, they're, like, they're like the they're the one Japanese developer who aren't like full on fuck Linux. Yeah, which, yeah. Well, I mean, in in, all, in their defense, I mean, one isn't like fuck PC in general. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, guess, I guess that is the baseline. So <laughs> you could have some extra things. Uh, a couple of new games this week, actually one, and it's all about fist. Yeah, it's about Fisto Roboto, Fist of the Forgotten. Uh, it is a precision platformer, aping quite a bit of the style from like Limbo or Inside, where you have like, uh, where it's you just well, have actually, like, a shadow. Jordan, um, no shaders. Fill in blank here was the first game to offer. I'm, 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 sure, I'm sure it was, and this one is stealing from it as well. Yeah. So, okay. um, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, but you have uh, the 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 point of this game is you have a giant fish that we're you can use to punch, stream, and uh, and dash and do all sorts of stuff with your fist while fighting Vin Diesel iron giants and jumping on their heads. Um, what I, what I want to know is like, is this thing going to have power glove support? Uh, release, <laughs> re- re- release date is when it's done, uh, coming soon. It says, uh, but it is going to be supporting Linux. You're going to need, uh, 1804, um, open GL 3.3. So this isn't going to be a Vulcan title. Um, yeah. And if you don't have, if you're still running OSS, then you don't get sound on, uh, this game apparently because the trailer's awesome. kind of all over the place. I mean, if you're watching at home, you're like, "Oh, that looks a bit janky." But then the other parts, like that, looks very fluid and um, maybe yeah, something I want to get into. And you know, hey, yes, the visual style has been done before, but it looks good enough. Fist of the Forgotten, maybe you know they'll do like a prequel, you know, like Ankle of the slightly slightly difficult to remember or something like that. <laughs> um, I'd be down with it. I mean, again, the movement looks okay. What does this thing claim to be? Precision and platformer action adventure. Yeah. Yeah. Lone Wolf Studio. Yeah, we, 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 we don't got a lot on it. It's very, very, no. very sparse. See, I'm like yeah. looking at this GIF and I'm like, yeah, but then I get down here and I'm like, eh. Yeah, this, this is some action, Hank. It, lo- it looks nice and smooth. And, oh, uh, yeah. Like, it definitely looks like a, a speedrunners sort of, sort of game. You know what I mean? Like, I could definitely see speed like once you get through the initial story, I could definitely see speedrunners just going bah, 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 bah. Sometimes like, I groan a little ability. bit though. When I see a brand new game, we're playing it for the first time, and I open up a game and it's a speedrun mode. I'm like, ah. Yeah, it's it's a little presumptive, isn't it? That isn't like it? people are gonna like their game enough that they want to speedrun it. Right. Yeah, but then, well, then again, people are speedrunning Cooking Mama, so what the fuck do I know? <laughs> what the, yeah, I guess. <laughs> no, but it's like, with a lot of these speedrunners, you don't even need the mode. People just want the game to, to speedrun. You don't need a speedrunner mode. There's only one you know game, I mean? one game only that should be speedrun, and that's Desert Bus. Yes. <laughs> I, I want to see, like, a Euro Truck Simulator speedrun. Yeah, I'm oh my sure God. I, I, dude, you know that, like, predefined routes exist in that there's probably yeah somebody's gonna kick the door in door fortress this is something we've been covering on and off seems like for years yeah this this is some some jr tolkien shit man when is when is he gonna release that next book you guys (laughs) um no no um yeah door fortress steam release coming soon says pc gamer links to all this in our show notes yeah uh or rather according to the publisher at least uh the the Steam release has been promised to have like a lot of graphical overhauls and a lot of uh, stuff, uh, a, a lot of like new improvements that will eventually get upstreamed to re- Vanilla Def- Dwarf Fortress once they make their money back. But yeah, like they've been saying it's coming soon for a while, and they've been saying it's coming soon for a while. And you know, a couple months ago they said it was coming soon, and now we get a new story where it says it's coming soon. I don't know. I'm not that big a Dwarf Fortress fan. I know there are a couple of folks in chat realm that fucking love that shit. I'm just a and big I'm fan sure of excited. like open source stuff being on Steam because it's an easy way to keep all, every a everything updated. I mean, that's how I that's how I blender, bro. Yeah, like, I love that blenders on Steam, and um, yeah. it's just good to have everything in a nice one evil DRM encumbered collection. It's awesome. It makes me happy makes my ankles tingle now i don't think anybody's been clamoring for this this is like i need something to write about i'm like whoa it's coming soon like we all know it's coming soon should i get off the pot on this um it happens happens. i know my daughter likes the the dwarf fortress games like uh but i don't know like uh like it's it's gonna come out when it's gonna come out like i just i i don't care enough to like rush them 
for a release. You know what I mean? Like it's it's and if there, it comes there, there out, already it comes out there are, and like the game is already out. Like you can just play it right now. Right. There are graphical tile sets for it that will approximate mm-hmm. what you would get in the Steam releases. Just like the fancy official provided one. Well, I, maybe I, they're working I don't, on I don't Dwarf Fortress this, VR. Dwarf Fortress Two, Dwarf Harder, mm. <laughs> the Dwarf and Ink, yeah. <laughs> Dwarf Saber, where you just dwarf hit dwarfs. Saber. <laughs> yeah. That that's that's gonna be the new Rings of Power tie-in game, Dwarf Saber. Carmack, yeah. call me. I got ideas, man. Um, before we get out of here, uh, this is completely free for listening right now, and you're watching live. Or if it's Monday, and Monday's not completely done, and you might not be in Space Australia because who knows how that works. Mafia, this classic. From 2K Games. From 2K2? 2K2. Illusion Softworks is free. You just get it. Log into your Steam account. Click on the uh, Give Me, regularly $14.99. This is good until September 5th, 1 p.m. Some limitations apply. I don't know like what those limitations are. Did anybody ever play this? I went I, I went ahead and yoinked this because I didn't, for like, it was in some bundle or I had like Mafia 2 Deluxe Edition Remastered Yolo Swag. And I enjoyed playing through it. And I'm like, all right, that's pretty dope. I like that. And uh, th- this kind of shows its age, man. They're talking, this is a vintage game, right? 2002. I mean, th- yeah, this is this is like GTA 3 was its contemporary. And I remember skipping over this game in like EB Games or GameStop or whatever. Because, you know, GTA 3 existed. And it's like, this is just a shitty knockup off of it. But ap- apparently people really like the story. Um, it's free now, so you might as well check it out. Mm-hmm. You got a couple hours. Yeah. Yeah, Same. I I definitely installed the game. It's already installed. Um, I'm definitely gonna. I before I start playing, I'm definitely gonna check out the modding community. I want to see what there mods mod, are out there. Is there a mod that turns everyone into Danny DeVito? Because then a hundred percent will play this <laughs> yeah. game. Possibly. Uh, yeah. You do need make sure you need you know, Windows XP sixty four bit is not supported. So don't even try it. Windows eight and above, baby. Oh, oh my man. god! DirectX nine, three gigs of space. Okay, two thousand and two. That was a that was a chunk. Okay, that, that, that fits on a DVD though. That's well. I, I'm thinking like two thousand two. What was I rocking? Uh, like probably twenty gig hard drives. Yeah, I think I had yeah. like a sixty ish gig around there or something. But that that was in the higher end of like what you would have yeah. a consumer drive back then. I mean, yeah. this this what this is no shadow of Hordor, but that is still pretty <laughs> chunk. No, 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 Star Citizen. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, but like the, uh, I think most of the DVDs back then, I think the max size was five gigs, wasn't it? 4.7. 4.2. 4.7. That's it. Mm. Yeah. So like, that's still like, even back then, this was still pretty beast of a size, you mm. know, like, dang. Oh, Mir- 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 Mir is correcting us. Well, we better end the segment before he actually posts his correction. <laughs> oh, that- that'll be awesome. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Coming up next, talking a lot about Intel and AMD. Yeah. Just a lot. A lot about that in general. Coming, you guys. Do the thing. All right. Well, welcome back. And, you know, you got some nice, juicy Steam news. Now, before we get into the news news, let's uh, throw some plugs out there. You know, thanks to you guys, the viewers and the supporters. You know, if you want to keep supporting Linux Gamecast, you can hit us up on Patreon where, uh, you know, you can toss a few shekels and uh, you can actually, like, help provide more content for the show. There's different tier levels, so each tier level gives you access to different things. Um, Then you can also get access to the uh, Discord, the early note access... Uh, if you go even higher, you get your names in the credits. Uh, you get, you get access the to the uncut. What? You get your name in the credits. Oh, it just determines oh. where, 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 where in the credits you are. Oh, yes. Whether, yes. Whether, it whether determines you're in the where in the credits. Yeah. You can uh, RSVP for game streams. You know, you can show up for yeah. some of those game streams. We're, uh, we're, doing, uh, we're doing Back for Blood on Thursdays. Okay. In yeah, we got to get the breaks on that. Like, Back for Blood. Back for Bread is now a legitimate thing. Like I've templated it, made the video thing for it, made the OBS thing for it. Jordan and I are gonna fucking kick this game's ass. We started at Act Two when we started recording last week before last. If you're in a Discord, look in the announcements. There's a fully produced version of the next episode. As if, maybe you missed out on Left for Bread, which took us like what two years? Two, 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 so, two some odd years, yeah. <laughs> Right, pro- and, pro- probably a little longer because there was a big break in the middle. But, right, yeah. and uh, we even came back and finished that last campaign. 
uh, with a lighthouse. But if you missed out on that and you always wanted to participate, this is going to be your chance. You know, it, it's like, it's not Left 4 Dead. We got Left 4 Dead at home. If you happen to have a copy of the game, it wasn't a bundle pretty cheap. EAC actually works with it. You got to play it under Proton. Couple of downsides, but it's just more Left 4 Dead. We always have two spots each and every week. You don't need a camera, but you do need a microphone because we're not playing that. That's like trying to we, communicate we, we, with we, a we need to yeah, actually yeah. like have back and forth talking. Uh, yeah, we got a store as well, uh, store.linuxgamecast.com. You can go buy yourself some LGC merch, uh, like like stickers, t-shirts, uh, coffee cups. Do we still got hoodies? I don't, I don't know. I, we I, might. I, I gotta I, I gotta give the uh, store some. Uh, TLC. Oh, yeah, yeah. I spent the recent amount of time trying to get the pricing right and fighting with Patreon because I set up a corporate overlord tier. Ah, uh, okay. I thought that would be funny, and I wanted I because we're very professional and we deeply care. I wanted to make sure that that balanced out to three fifty exactly. at the end of the month. Okay. All right. And it didn't makes, want me makes. to do like fractions, so I was like, you know what, we're gonna make this work, and we ended up making it work. Yeah, we got a store, plenty of ways to support us. We got wish list over at LinuxGameCast dot com. And uh, yeah, thanks for your support. That's how we yeah. do this. Is to buy uh, if you if you buy us some stuff off the wish list, you can send us a note that we got to read on, on That's there. Right. We we, we also got that. Do we still got that uh, voicemail box on Spotify? It's there. If you if you can defeat the um, voicemail system on Spotify or Anchor, we'll play it. Just send it in. We've yeah. been able to do that once. Drop us a line. Come say hi in our Discord if you're a Twitch sub or Patreon. And um, yeah, this is how we do things, man. We have a very strange business model of like hey let's keep this free let's keep this uh, advertiser free we're not beholden to anyone you might not even like what we say but you know we're, we're saying it from where our hearts should be in our butt yes. and uh <laughs> straight from the ass that's gonna to you know hey it keeps us honest we're never gonna we're never we don't have to worry about selling out jordan <sighs> but I, I wish microsoft would just buy us out oh, <laughs> They're 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 acquiring fucking everything else. They're buying out Blizzard. They're buying out like Activision. Like, come on. What do, pop, what, pop, what, pop. Do, what what does that conversation look like? I, I have to call uh, you you and Pedro. Be like, all right, hear me out. What what does this number have to be? Like ballpark it. Like, uh, uh, yeah, you, you know, you know, I, I I think I think we could we could make out for a couple hundred grand, a uh, couple hundred, a uh, couple hundred grand, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Microsoft's done like the uh, founder's strat where ah. we, we don't get to divest anything. We got to stick around for 24 months and continue doing the show no matter what. Yeah, let's... Two let's, billion let, apiece. Let, yeah, <laughs> let, 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 let's call it like 1.5 million ahead. I'm good with that. 1.5 million ahead for two yeah, years? Yeah, that pay, pay, pays off my mortgage. I'm good. All right. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I might milk them a little bit harder than that. It depends. Like, if I could get like the deferral, to the branding, mm. whole different game, whole different game. But if they like lock in owned it, like, nah, I don't think I, I would say that. probably do it for two hundred and fifty million ahead. Just to what if, lock it so? In. I, I got a question though. What if Doctor Lisa Sue offered to buy us out? What would she have to give us? Uh, you know what? Um, probably about seven thousand because that's what they're calling the new Zen, maybe. I keep hitting the wrong button. Wave everybody in the <laughs> wrong shot. Ah, uh, own it. So, AMD Ryzen 7000 Zen 4. You're like, hey, man, what? What? go back and watch the beginning of the show when we're going through the uh, Steam survey results. Over, just Linux users love AMD. We love underdogs. And for some reason, like all of us are running AMD CPUs, we didn't get together and we didn't hang out and have a party and decide this. We just all got the AMDs. I got the thread boopers. Jordan, you got the... Uh, 3900 stuff. Yep. Sandy's got a what? 5700. Right on. But even more goodness coming out of this announcement. I sat down and watched it. Some bad news though, because uh, goodbye, power sippers. No more 65 watt chips. Mm. Kind of sad about that. Uh, but the AM5 socket can deliver as much as 230 watts, which is kind of neat. No quad channel memory, no 64 lanes of hotness. Boo. Now, I do genuinely hope some adventurous motherboard manufacturer is going to like split and bifurcate a 5X lane and does some 3X lanes. And like, all I need is I need 1x16, 1x8, and 2x4s. Then I don't have to worry about this thread ripper nonsense that keeps on looming and peeking its fucking head over at me. <laughs> AM4 coolers. Good news, everyone. Going to be completely compatible. You might need a spacer plate from the manufacturer, but you know, just for a Z height. But 
No word on whether or not the uh, AM4 thermal paste is going to be compatible. So keep your eyes out for that. Let's talk about prices. I didn't see anybody getting terribly upset about that. Starting at $299 on the basic bitch end, which is a very, very nice price for what you're getting, all the way up to $699. And the motherboards, same, starting at $120, bucks, which, you know, you're probably not going to be terribly happy with a $120 motherboard, but that would be the one that I bought. Yeah, it's 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 interesting too. Uh, MD seems confident in dipping in the above five gigahertz uh, category again. I remember back when when we had the old bulldozer Mobo melters, where you needed that five layer PCB, or else the <laughs> CPU would just fall through your computer. Um, yeah, uh, but a- AM4 is going the way of the dodo. So it's a, it's, a, it's a little sad, but you know we've we've milked that for all it's worth. I see. I guess I hope the used fifty nine hundred Xs get cheap. Um, but yeah, the 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 they're they're moving to the five nanometer fab, and it looks like it's going to be delivering some fairly serious performance and power gains, which is is very attractive. Hopefully, hopefully Intel can put out some bullshit numbers to combat this. Oh, we're, we'll get to the Intel bullshit numbers in a minute, baby. Don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> you know, here's the thing: it's a very compelling argument for the seven thousand series on the mid to high end, low end. Some of the i3s and uh, i5s coming out from Intel right now are like, yeah, maybe, maybe you might want to mix and match. But I mean, if you're dead in the wool, you know, you, you love your corporate overlord that is AMD. You're like me. I'm like, I only buy AMD CPUs even when it's like stabbing my own taint bulldozer, um, <laughs> which I did, man. I did. Hey, uh, hey, hey. It's doing a lovely job of heating my den now. Damn straight. And it will, man. It will. I'm excited about this. Uh, I don't really get to play in the uh, normal, sanely priced consumer market, but um, I'm happy to see what I'll probably be able to pick up on the cheap in five years. How long do you think we're going to get out of the socket, though? Because we, that uh, AM4, like, geez. Like, I mean, I literally dropped a 5600G into so... a B350. All right, so AM4 was launched 2016. Five years. When when was AM3? AM3 Plus wasn't it like 2009. Was, uh, 2011 was AM3 Plus. Mm. So it's so like it's a little shorter than the the expected lifespan, but not by much. Yeah. Um, and, uh, but yeah, I, I think that like the the no quad channel memory thing is super disappointing. Like, why move to a new socket if you're not going to like. Give, give us a little bit of that. Right, right. And, and listen, let's be fair. I mean, one thing, we still got to see what Intel puts out. It might be interesting, but Intel's doing uh, something a little different because not only can you run DDR5 in the Intel motherboards, you can also, they're backwards compatible with DDR4. Yeah, these guys are DDR5 only. Only, which does simplify things for AMD and the motherboard board manufacturers, yeah. which is probably good. Now, you know, no matter what, I mean... <laughs> I was thinking about this. I'm like, AMD was so good with like this socket longevity. They're just crushing Intel. You know, Intel's like, hey, look, it's because Intel got bad, man. They were just like per generation. They were swapping out sockets. Well, it was like the, the socket's the same. It's just the chipset is completely incompatible. Like coffee so leak came out. Yeah. And they're like, <laughs> Intel's like, we changed the pin. All new other words. But you know what? I mean, AMD's fucked some people too with the sockets. And this is a true thing. I'm looking at you, um, str 4 like Threadripper, the original Threadripper, we got two generations out of, which is fine. You know what? That works. But the STRX4, the latest generation, they made that socket. And they're like, great, continued support. Don't worry about it. By the way, that Threadripper series is dead now. It's all Threadripper Pro, which, by the way, is a different socket because that's why. Well, I, I, I guess we'll, I guess we'll see if the uh, if the performance numbers are true. Otherwise, it's good news for AMD. It's it's nice to see that like Intel's going to have to put in some work. Uh, they they got to put in a lot of work on their GPU division. So this this next one is from uh, semiaccurate.com. dot uh, com, and according according to their source, they have some more more details as to why a bunch of the uh, GPUs have been delayed. And it turns out uh, Putin's fucking up shit for a bunch of people, including Intel, uh, because um, not not only was COVID uh, was COVID and the lockdowns and the supply chain issues uh, causing issues with uh, Intel moving, the, developing and moving the silicon around. Uh, when once uh, Russia started going to war with Ukraine, uh, apparently the 
the a large contingent of Intel's GPU driver team is based out of Russia. So they were trying to get them all out of the country. A bunch of them wanted to stay. A bunch of them changed their minds at the last minute. Um, it's um, it, uh, apparently they couldn't even get them paid because like all the international banking stuff to Russia is banned or is, is stopped. So that's a, that's a bit of a that's a bit of a monkey wrench to throw into the machine here. Um, and th this this is what's uh, this is what's been causing a bunch of the delays. We we know that there has been a bunch of driver problems. It seems that they couldn't get solved fa as fast as Intel wanted just because they didn't have the manpower. That seems to be okay now. They seem to have moved the people they're going to move. They've rebuilt the teams that. They they need to, and it still means that they're going to be substantially behind on the driver delivery. Um, yeah, uh, or at least if uh, if semi accurate dot com, the links to all of this in the show notes uh, is to be believed. So, um, what what, what, what does this mean? It, man. I mean, you know, after all this speculation, what have we been doing for months upon months and months? Like, what could this possibly be? Like, what is the missing part of this equation? This doesn't make sense. I mean, of course, you can always excuse Intel being Intel for something, but mm -hmm. to this extent, after reading this, I'm like, oh, that'll do it. That'll do it. But yeah. uh, Sandy is still a big problem for Intel, though. Yeah. No, absolutely. Like, I don't know. Like, I know that I can foresee this, that the price is, the initial price is going to be jacked up because of this outside of the delay. Just because they'll be like, well, a lot of the resources were tied in and, you know, like we can't get access to a lot of this stuff. And it's going to be like it's going to be a new generation of GPU and it's going to be like the gains won't justify the price. If like just from hazarding uh, a prediction of where it's going to go. Well, it's, 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 it's gen one, right? Like yeah. we were, yeah. we were all kind of hoping that like Intel would come out the gate swinging, but realistically, like. Look, look, look at what happened when AMD tried There's to tackle a simultaneous multi thread, right? Like, yeah, yeah. It, yeah it, it took them a couple years to figure it out. Um, yep, Intel absolutely. doesn't seem like they're willing to play the long game, but you know, maybe, maybe, maybe there's a light at the end of the tunnel, a ray traced light. I oh. think so. I what? think so, man. Uh, 7, 770 lights, if we're going to be honest about it. Um, <laughs> they're all 771 lights. Is hey, shut up! Yeah. It's fourteen percent faster than Nvidia's RTX thirty sixty across the board. Dot dot dot. In in, in ray tracing. <laughs> okay. In 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 ray tracing game benchmarks. Benchmarks. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, so I read through this as uh, WCF Tech, and you know this is not typical WCF Tech speculation. This is like, hey, these are Intel's own number digits for you to look at. So apparently, the mid range. 770 can outperform a 3060 sometimes, but you know, ray tracing, in my opinion, is only useful for like if you got the raster performance to back it up. Because I'll tell you, I have a 3060 and thread booper, you can cut that shit on if you want to see what 30 to 16 FPS looks like. You don't, I mean, it's a fucking irrelevant argument. Like, why would you ever cut that on? It would just tank your already questionable performance to begin with. Now, I <laughs> Yeah, I am just, this is a pointless, I mean, yeah, okay, you wanted something Intel, but this is a pointless damn metric, and you know it. Yeah, um, they're, uh, and they're saying that uh, the uh, the advantage here is coming from uh, Intel's ray tracing cores having uh, two things, they have the tr thread sorting unit and the ray tracing unit, which uh, they're the different hardware to do different ray tracing things, but um, that that's what's giving them most of the bonus. Um also, also, so it seems like uh, it seems like, as per the last story, they're able to they've been able to get some drivers out because these results are coming from the latest beta branch of the drivers. Man, I feel really bad for who's left on that team because that's got to been like major fucking crunch. You got you got to imagine that Intel is like fucking putting the boot down, and being like, "You got to get these out." <laughs> Spent two billion fucking dollars on this shit. You gotta Yesterday, get them out. man, why does this not yeah, work? Yeah. Yeah, uh, pr pr price wise, though, uh, what, what this article is saying is uh, it's going to be greater than the 3060, but less than the 3060 Ti. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's the rub, man. I, I really do, because I, you go check on eBay. Go check on eBay right now. You can get a used 3060 for under 300 bucks, like 250, 260, 12 gig, all day long that's not like oh look one sold i'm like nope just page after page after page and yeah. this i mean i get why intel 
is holding off on releasing these juggernauts, uh, the A770 or the 750 or the 580. This is a no-win scenario at this point. There, there's no uh, recovering. You know, it sucks that their driver division got fucked and there were some silicon issues and all that got extra fucked with some a side of fuck. But the only win scenario in this is like fire selling these things below cost because no one's going to touch this outside of like curious people. AV1 and Goating, me and 13 other people on this planet are excited about that. But yeah. Gaming performance. Bad. You get the 3060. It's already been out there, and that's what you're competing with. That thing's had three years on the market to get all the bugs worked out. So unless you want something that might not even, even on the Windows side, they're like, uh, yeah, it's got DirectX simulation. Oh, great. You're using um, the Vulcan. Uh, no, no, no. We did it ourselves. So it'll be extra funky. <laughs> and, you know, I'm talking like this thing. If this thing comes out, what what's your price, Jordan? 250 bucks. I'm thinking if you can give me a 770 with 16 gigajoules of DDR6, my AV1 encoder, 200 watts, I'll give you 250 bucks for it. Yeah, that's, that's about right. And and I think, like, un- unfortunately, the Intel corporate division operates under zero-sum logic, which is not how reality works. But I think they really just need to take the L on here. They got to they gotta be like, hey, you know, we released our first generation. It's not great. Gen 2 is going to fucking blow your mind, though, because now we've actually figured out what's wrong. So. Right. I mean that that again. I'll I'll bring up Bulldozer to Zen, right? Like it mm-hmm. took AMD a couple of years to actually figure out what the fuck they're doing, and once they did, they're kicking everyone's ass. So, like, and that was I what two three years. Oh, I was lying, yeah. man. Uh, Zen was AMD's hell Mary, man. They had already oh, sold yeah. their headquarters and like leased it back for capital at that point. Yeah, like, they were not far like, from being gone. Yeah, it's I, I don't know the 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 kind of, the like the, the fake bullshit example in my brain is like imagine if Intel or not Intel Nvidia tried to come out with an x86 CPU, uh-huh. you'd be like I'd be interested in seeing what that is. It's probably not. It's probably going to run like shit at first, but you know Intel has the resources that over it over multiple years it could be a good offering. Um, but I mean, again, it, that, that that requires thinking beyond a quarter. So yeah, nothing's going to change at now the. GPU crisis is over. Like Intel could have made some head, Intel could have absolutely made some headway back in the GPU crunch when they were sitting on these, going, "We don't have everything together." But now, you know, there, you, there's, there's zero uh, outside of like some curiosity fucks. That's all you're going to get. Nobody's clamoring for that if you're building a CPU, right? Uh, do, a do you think right uh, no. you, you think XCSS or whatever is going to get start being like a license tech? They're going to try and sell it to Nvidia or AMD? No, no. I I think they're going to power through this, but I think they're after as long as there's some good sales humans and i mean people who can do the corporate speak to the top end and go listen this was out of our control we got this you got to give us some time but it's also intel doesn't you know that corporate level of like we don't want to be it seen as a failure we can't sell these things at a loss we're just not going to release them because that makes more sense that is a higher the non-zero chance of Intel. Oh, like, we're just not going to release yeah. it because it will make us look bad. Well, the, the, the rumor mill was that like uh, Battle Mage and Druid and the other ones were just going to get axed, right? Like, Yeah. Yeah. I, they're, they're, I, it's weird to root for Intel, but I absolutely am because we desperately need player three in this. Mm-hmm. There's nowhere on that. That needs to happen. And Intel's got the power to do it if they can just see it through. But we'll see. Will it, will it work with OBS 28, though? Yes, surprisingly, it will. Um, I've talked a couple of weeks ago uh, about OBS Vita 28 coming out, how wonderful, smooth transition, just immediately go ahead and stun. I I said, watch your shit. But the OBS studio team would like to tell you all the hot stuff is here and ready for download. There's a PPA. There's even a flat pack. Uh, None of your plugins are going to work. None of your web sockets are going to work. NDI, that's off the table. Uh... There is a OBS compatibility page. Hang on. I want to pull this up. I want to pull up your compatibility page. Okay, Google. OBS is it, compatibility is, page. Is it e- oh, look. Uh, Windows, Mac, and Mac OS. Fuck Linux. You're wrecked. Every single person. Like, Here's the problem. Most of these plugins have a Linux version. Not even joking. Let's go with OBS NDI, which OBS NDI doesn't work right now. But I know for a fact, right here up at the top, if we go to releases, <gasps> Ubuntu. Ah, and um, yeah, a little disappointed in that. Let's pretend it's 2022. Let's pretend Linux doesn't exist. Ah, uh, yeah. jeez. Uh, all the plugins are being updated. They are. Um, if something that you are currently using doesn't work right now, reach out to the developer. Be like, 
post a polite issue like I've done. Like, hey, by the way, new version of OBS. Um, maybe maybe get update that. I did that with the um, OBS uh, bit focus thing. Yeah, which was using the WebSockets, the captions plugin. I bumped that and it was a QT6 issue, which that's been taken care of. And uh, but, 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 the big push, HDR support in this release, which, you know, again, 98.27% of the uh, users have no idea what that is, but it gets us HBEC and AV1 encoding, which is good. Three of you so, are going to be upset. 32 bit support is gone. I know, pour one out. QT6 is in. That's the new hotness. So if you're on Debian 11, an old school ass OS, you need to use Debian backports to get that. They switched the rendering system in Linux. It's no longer GLX, it's EGL, which means that it's probably not going to remember your windows. You're going to have to reset those. And, uh, you know, I do have everything working. We're using it right now. And uh, minus the captions plugin. Still waiting on that. I might move up to Debian testing. That's a GLibc issue. Mm. But as I said before, this is a big breaky release. And I don't say that as a bad thing. I say that as something you got to push this stuff out. Sometimes you just got to bite that bullet and you know, or you can't just come and like, Hey, we're going to be updating. You might want to update your plugin. Like I'm just, this is my hobby project. I'm not going to update this plugin just yet as versus like 20, 40, 60, a thousand people going, why doesn't my plugin work anymore? Like, all right, fine. I'll update it. There we are. OBS 28. Go download it. It's a flat pack. There's a PPA for the Ubuntu's, or if you're on Debian, you're one of the cool kids. Or Fedora, you just build it from source. That's what I do. Is there a copper? Nice. Uh it, yeah. it's in RPM. It's in RPM Fusion, so you can just do yum and stuff. How recently updated is it? Um, it, there or, RPM Fusion's been pretty good lately. Right. Um, but I've I've been using uh, I've been using compiled OBS for myself, so I haven't checked it recently. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just grab it if you're thinking about. I mean. It, <sighs> I put off using it for a long time, by a long time, like, you know, probably like two or three years after it started getting useful on Linux. And it is a great tool. We use it yeah. day in and day out. So nothing but good well, things to say. I have a question for you, though. Yeah? So how do you find it now that they've switched to QT6 rather than the QT5? Like, do you find it's more snappy? Like, do you find QT5 it's QT5 and me, we go back a long way, Sandy. You know, me, QT5 was with me at the beginning in the early days, um, before we made our big launch. Uh, no, yeah. um, I didn't notice any difference. Like, yeah, okay. it's pro- probably not going to be like a crazy huge improvement. Maybe jumping from like QT3 to QT6. Maybe. There's a new theme yeah. that you'll go, that's weird. And you change it back to the dark theme. So, uh, yeah, uh, I haven't had any stability issues with it. No, oh, that's good. Nice, nice. We well, use it for our shows. Just plugins. Yeah, just just plugins need updated. And like NDI is a fucking massive roadblock for a lot of people. Not us anymore. We used NDI for a long time. But mm-hmm. no longer. So yeah, there you go. Go grab it. Go play okay. with it. Go break it. Report bugs that you find. Unlike that Windows user. I saw a Windows bug. I should have put it in the show notes. I had to pull it up. He was like, open OBS 28. Everything bad. Nothing work. <laughs> uh, and he filed, filed this on <laughs> GitHub. Just re, oh, and I forget who I think Mike uh, or whoever it was uh, wrote back. And he's like, "This sounds like an applications issue. You probably want to report it in our Discord." Yeah. It was just this very polite, like, "Get the fuck out of here." Yes. Yeah. Do 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 you have a bug report, or do you just want to complain? Because we have a place for that. Just wanted to complain. Now we wouldn't have to worry about all this compatibility and stuff if we just start cloud computing more. Oh, I know. We right? just got to stream in the cloud, man. Everything's got to be done in the cloud. And speaking of clouds, Logitech is working with Tencent to come out with uh, their new handheld, which is going to be, guess what? Cloud-based gaming. Yeah, so apparently an image release or, uh, was uh, leaked out of the new handheld by Logitech. And uh, yeah, it's... Uh... When did we talk about this? Last week, week before last? Yeah, yeah, we, 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 there, there, there was, yeah. there was a bit of a, there was a bit of a rumor mill uh, coming out. Uh, yeah, you this, guys talked was... about the not last week, but the week before was the last time you guys talked about it. God and damn it! it. Just then we got the screenshot. God, yeah. yeah. Fuck you, pocket dash one dot com. Um, with you, um, <laughs> yeah, right? Here's the thing: they went full Streisand effect on this. I don't know if it was uh, Logitech or uh, Huawei or whoever they're partnering with. 
They filed a DMCA claim on the Twitter images that a dude posted. That was leaked. yeah, which which completely confirms them, right? Right. Like, that's, yeah. Like okay, and what are we looking at? Like uh, how how big is that compared to a switch? I think that's a that looks about switch size to me. Yeah, um, that definitely looks switch size. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> media not split. Yeah. A response from the copyright holder dicks so yeah no maybe unless it was just clever marketing we get a uh, analog stick up at the top left hand corner i'm guessing and in the middle on the right directional pad a yellow button i know you're clamoring for yellow it's, it's, buttons. it's the logitech button and yeah. then the home button yeah. and you get and your then, standard abxy yep shoulder yeah, bumpers it, it, it it's it's an android tablet with an attached controller which we have already in fact you can buy one for 120 bucks from that thing we covered last week yeah <laughs> Well, I think, I mean, we're looking at the screen, yeah, and you're saying that Google Play, Xbox, NVIDIA, more Xbox, Steam, Chrome, YouTube, to which I'm like, yeah, that's uh, that's already, mo- cloud gaming is a weird one, it's a weird one, like, cloud gaming is something you do when you don't have, a, like, real gaming around, and you got your mobile device, all those cloud gaming things everywhere, like a dedicated cloud gaming device just seems weird. Yeah, no, yeah. absolutely like I I, 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 I just can't get. I look forward to your TikTok video anymore. debunking like, everything I just said. Yeah. Get off my lawn! I'm an old man. Get off my lawn! Yeah. Do you, no, do you even just, know how I'm, to get on TikTok? Then. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up, man. <laughs> no, but like I'm so tired of the goddamn cloud gaming push that a lot of these companies are doing. Like, I get it. I get it. You like clouds. I get it. But, like, not everyone can afford good internet. Like, this is literally based on the fact that you have to have a great network in order to play a lot of these games. Yeah, I mean, you got to be close. It's uh, about region, great network, and then and then Bandwidth. the peak experience of it sucks less. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, or, or, or the peak experience of, oh, I paid, I'm in Canada, and I paid $80 a month for two gigs of LTE, and now it's gone. Oops. Um, yeah. cloud gaming is the future hundred percent, uh, like brave new world. Yeah. You're not going to own anything and yeah. nothing. I mean, that, I, yeah, that's, that's, and that, that's how they put the kibosh on like mods. That's how they put the kibosh on quote unquote piracy. Um, that's how they put the kibosh on cheating. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like no, no, now cheating will be okay. Well, I'm just going to pay you cloud gaming provider to mm-hmm. give me, to give me better shit. Oh, there's absolutely going to be like tiered, like, Oh, do you want like priority plus traffic? Hacks then you got to pay. Yeah. 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 Hacks. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh yeah. man. Uh, what, again, a, a dedicated thing like this. I don't know how this got out of the planning stage. I hope somebody catches because again, it's Logitech. Like, if there's a micro switch made by Logitech on there, it will fail in uh, 13 months, guaranteed. Like <laughs> every time. <sighs> that's what they uh, no, do. But that's a Logitech. It's, it's, it's gonna kill the Steam Deck, you guys. Doesn't stand a chance. The, it's a Steam Deck killer. Usefulness. Now, here, okay, where are we at with Chromebooks? Because I remember when Chromebooks first came out, I'm like, these things have any storage? I'm like, technically, it's got like a kilobyte for what? I don't know. But it's useless without an internet connection. You can't do anything without an internet connection. They're dumb. They're stupid. And now you see a Chromebook and you're like, that's useless. You can't do anything with it without an internet connection. <laughs> well, but 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 again, like you got you got to look at like the 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 segments of stuff that Chromebooks are being marketed at. Uh, most mostly students, education, and businesses. Places that will have uh, that will have access to networks. And uh, like, let's let's be real. Local file storage has kind of become a thing of the past. I like it because I'm a fucking troglodyte who loves to cr- keep all this stuff in his cave. Mm-hmm. But like, yeah, mo- most people like they stream their audio or their music off Spotify. They watch their movies off Netflix. Uh, they'll play their games off of Logitech cloud gaming services, right? No, like, no, no, I draw a line there. <laughs> nah, no, but but like basically everything outside of gaming, Chromebooks kind of make sense in this day and age, mm-hmm. especially for like the mi- minuscule amount of data those things actually require. And here's Versus, where I kind of sit yeah. with that though, man. Like I, I'm not, I'm knocking cloud gaming in its current state. Like if you give me a one to one ratio with cloud gaming and a service that I can sign up to and just like fucking play, not I'm talking about like Stadia. Stadia was a dumb idea. Stadia was like buy the game again in the cloud, get wrecked, Stadia. But, you know, a, a monthly service of Steam's like, hey, here's your streaming Netflix a la carte, just whatever you want to download. Uh, once that's a one-to-one experience, like, that's how we game from then on. I'm not going to be the hipster running out like, no, I want to download the game and run it locally. 
Yeah, it, 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 the, the, the downloaded game is a value-add proposition, right? Like, if you're going to be in Tanzania for six months, right. yeah, you know, down, download a copy of Cyberpunk, but for the most part. Which is yeah, weird. exactly. And, but until yeah, internet and like good you, access you're to You're in a landlocked country, everywhere? Mm-hmm. like Tanzania, and you run across a submarine, the guy gets out, and he's like, no cloud gaming, bro. Yeah. yeah. It's fucking I've, weird. Yeah. Listen, the the outer space submarine is a very very potent technology. We're not ready for it. <laughs> uh, but you know, my, you might be ready to uh, unpack some stuff out of the boxes in that new place you moved into. I certainly am not, but you might want to check out very very nice eu itch.io. Check out their game, Moving In. Uh, you can download it. To name your price. Moving In. It's a cozy environment, relaxing in a cozy it's environment relaxing. where you can. Yeah, un- unpack your shit. Here's the thing, though, man. Like, I moved into this house two years ago, and I still have stuff in boxes. You can see a fucking box over there. That's from when I moved in. It's still there. It's been there for a month, or for for like two years. Um, I'm not gonna play a game that reminds me of stuff. But you I can need throw to do. chairs, I Jordan. I can do that. I- I'm gonna throw this chair once my new one shows up. I'm gonna throw it out in the street. I just want to live in a universe where you have to take the chair out of a box. <laughs> Couldn't you I do guess. this in Half Life too? <laughs> but yeah, like I, I, I guess I guess the idea here is you could unpack stuff. I don't, I don't know. It's 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 a chill game. There, there's certainly a market for it. Just like, hey, I'm gonna do some. I'm just gonna play something that occupies time. It's low stress, helps me relax. If you like unpacking, if you're one of those psychopaths who moves every eight months, this might be a game for you. Hey, it's completely free and is available for Linux. How about that? That's yeah, it's true. See, this is more realistic and like yeah i just throw a shit in a box yeah, yeah. T- yeah toss it in the corner it's fine put a plant in a box you monster what is wrong with you also move your cursor <laughs> why do you have an aiming reticule so you can shoot your plants i yeah like, exactly I, I don't know all right that's gonna do it for the news yep coming up next yeah. we got we got to talk about arc graphics more okay. a topic that won't die vintage arcs <laughs> And welcome back to the hate mail segment. I know where the satiric was issued. Pedro's not here. So we're taking a break. We don't want to make our lovely, lovely guest do extra double duty. Taking it taking it easy. One of the things Sandy said duty. Duty pooty. What's a poot? Don't answer that question. But if you want to tell me what a pooty <laughs> is, head over to lightschemecast.com. Smash that contact button. We got some notes. If you're a developer, if you're a publisher, read the damn rules. They're pretty simple. We've been up to this for 10 years. We know the ins and outs. You're not gonna fuck with us. You want to come on the show? We'd love to have you. Free promotion. It's great. Linux people, we're great for being your PR team. Crowdfunding campaigns. Make sure you got a Linux build. If you're going to send us like all the extra marketing material and stuff like that, send it to the correct email address that is listed there. Outside of that, give us a name, email, subject, your message, and we'll get back to you. Guaranteed. Yeah. Uh, also, you can leave a comment on Patreon or um, voicemail YouTube. on Spotify. Voicemail, yeah. Do Play that. Away. Play yeah, away. So, so uh, yeah, we got uh, the first one from DCAT who asks, who in their wrong, their right mind would buy a new ARC video card after all this BS? Man, did they F this up? What a mess. Uh, well, we, uh, we we kind of got the, the reasoning behind that. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to say Intel is entirely blameless here, but, you know, I there think, are external circumstances outside of the Can I say this? Isn't it difficult to have sympathy for Intel? A little bit. Yeah. P- yeah. P- pleased to meet you. Hope you guessed yeah. my name. It's Gordon Moore. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, especially like what Intel did to fucking AMD back in the day, man. Like, oh, yeah. just fucking him over, like maliciously too. I'm like, well, that's just how we do business. And apparently, uh, I will buy an ARC card, but it, I might be buying a secondhand ARC card. What's your price? Jordan, where, where's your curiosity price, Sandy? Like, I, I don't, I don't think I have a machine to stick it in, though. That's the problem. Okay, uh, so okay, let, let's unpack that correctly. What's your Insta buy price then? What's my Insta buy price? Hundred eighty bucks. One eighty. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I would I, say one eighty, one ninety, within that price range. Yeah, just, just like you for know, sure. that's that, that's too cheap. I can't, I can't say no to that. If I can get the seven series for two hundred shipped, that's my Insta buy price. I'm like, yeah. That is just to pick one up to have it to play with, but that that's all. Uh, despite any extra money and time spent on marketing, that's all these are. Now, yeah. yep. they're like you might be able to sell a couple to people who want to pick one up and fuck around with it. 
No one's planning a PC build around Ark. Not even like I'm sure there's some diehards. Man, th- those Intel fanboys, they dress in all blue. The ringtone is dun 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 dun. Dude, yeah, yeah. they you, they have that you, you sixty dollar the, um Intel the, shirt. Yeah, the Intel oh, yeah. Polo, the the corporate <laughs> one from the Why retreat. I, yeah. yeah, ten dollars more I could buy a screwdriver, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I, they, they, they exist. They're out there. Yeah. The oh, truth is man. out there. I, uh, next I'm again, I'll say it over and over and Intel just fucking release this shit. But it's in silicon doesn't age like fine wine ages like milk hey man it's the proper vintage speaking of vintages Ayrton uh, one writes in sandy take it away you can read <laughs> i'm can gonna go though? ahead and write that the old equipment featured uh, on this channel really isn't old it's vintage vintage yeah, vintage vintage i don't know vintage 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 with Vin. <laughs> I don't know. I, like, I, I, okay. I, I mean, I mean, like, sure. If you were to like go and sell all of this equipment, you could be like, you know, it's the vintage store because I'm oh, Vin. Oh. Bitch, any, any, like, if they go, yeah, fuck yeah, I'm just gonna put vintage. It's like, this is from 2020. What vintage? <laughs> it, yeah. Well, I mean, what vintage it belongs the, in the, the museum, the year, right? We'll slap on it. Um, yeah, I think everybody's had that thought at some point. But I, I, I was talking to Sandy before Jordan even got on the show. Uh, yeah, like I got some audio hipster shit that is power in the show these days, man. Like uh, stuff from <laughs> late seventies, early eighties. Stuff 80s. that was used on Thriller. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Not not this exact one, but uh, uh, more than I care to. And but. <laughs> Like, do you, what are your thoughts? Like, what, 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 I'm sure both of you have at least one thing. You're like, yeah, this is my hipster vintage thing that I own that I like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sandy, what would 100%. that be? 100%. It, it doesn't even have to be electronics. Like you could have. A, no, it's comic books. Comic, comic books. books is all like right. all my hipster stuff. And do, uh, do, do you have like any, any like first issues of Alpha Flight or something? Anything crazy Actually, like I that? do. I have like at least 12 Ooh. copies of issue one. And uh, four copies of their first appearance in X Men. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. How about you, Jordan? What's your hipster kryptonite? My, all, 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 all my hipster shit is like D and D stuff. What? Like, I, I, mm-hmm. I, I, I got a box cop. I got a box set of uh, Dark Sun, Ravenloft, and Planescape in pretty decent condition. Um, now, the, the, here's the, what I'm uh, getting. Ravenloft at. box came with the uh, Taraka deck intact. Did you buy that used? I did. Ah. How much of a premium? Uh, I got it at a convention. I think I paid like 30 bucks for it. Is that good? Oh, wow. Oh. That's actually oh. really good. Uh, there's there's some collectors out there that'll sell it for like hundreds of dollars. Yeah, it's it's not I, it's not good enough to be CGC rated, so I don't think it's not it's actually worth yeah. anything because of that. But yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I like them. I think they're neat. I mean, would mm-hmm. you pay extra like if it was a graded VHS? I mean, VHS of what? Garbage pill kids? I'd pay at least $10,000. Uh, fortunately for the collector's market, they, 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 they hit the absurdity level. They're like, no, we're not. You can grade VHSs all day long. We're not buying into that. Fortunately yeah. for me, all my audio vintage stuff comes almost in- exclusively from Jim at Guitar Center. So. That, that guy we rescued in Back for Brad. Yeah, he's still, yeah. He's still in the zombie apocalypse. Like It's like it's that $99 <laughs> price bracket. So not, not as good as you at 30 bucks, but pretty fucking affordable and hey it's all to make a better show for you at home and uh hopefully you enjoy it but ladies and gentlemen we got a vintage we, can we get a montage a, a vintage a vintage vintage come check this nonsense out we do it live each and every saturday night 7 30 for patrons pre pre super shows and here's a reminder if you are a patron you get uh episode one of wizards and shit which is our uh, game of thrones and uh rings of powder spoiler cast come check that out now you will get in touch with me 8 30 back here live on twitch at vin stone on twitter i'm not terribly original at vin on mass.linuxgamecast.com federated entrance and uh, hit me up on discord irc wherever you may be well if vin is wizards that must make me in shit you can follow wizards. me on twitter at the burning wizards fool or wizards. Twitch.tv. We're reptile people i knew it no no, no I'm, just, I, I'm just in shit in shit um in shit. Is that Scottish? <laughs> it's, it's, it, no, it's like NSYNC, but it's just N shit. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Burning Fool. 
And <clears throat> if he's a, a lizard, your lizard, Airy, then I am a bobbit, a marina bobbit. You see what I did there? And you can find uh, me on Twitter. That, is at that like a marina eel? Is, 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 is that like <laughs> Moraine Demo Dragon or whatever the fuck her name Demo, was from Wheel of Time? Gorgon. <laughs> But yeah, you can find me on uh, Twitter at Ultimagus, or you can find me on Mastodon, Ultimore at mass.linuxgamecast.com. Part man, part poorly executed joke that is sending right. <laughs> Everybody give him a big hand for hanging out with us tonight, making this shit possible. We gotta roll some credits, so. Yeah. Wrong button. Cocaine! I mean, I, I'll say we're at least the McFish, not the burger. Mm, mm-hmm. The McFish. I don't know, man. People <laughs> fucking love that McFish. They go to their way. Yeah, well, listen, we're definitely not a rib witch. That's 100% certain. The rib witch. We gotta thank our executive producers, Omegas and Arthur, and we gotta thank our, our that's our advisors, our executive producers, He-Man, yeah! Bob <laughs> Ram, Scott Michaud, Atomic Ass, Mike G, Mike T, Drummer, Kawaku, George, Pebble, Tomaj, and Unoid, and our solo Nick fan, Abstraction, Nixon's Pyramid. Sea Monster. Go for it, read. I forgot. Ronaldo, uh, Renaud L, uh, Ryder, X Machina, True Grills, uh, v Trudin, Justin, Frost Claude, Nubin, David, Darkwing, <laughs> System T. Oh man, uh, True Grills. Uh, <laughs> is that, <laughs> like, is that like Bear Grills? Stein. It's fine. Beautiful Death Notes. All of our chair leagues. I'll pick a couple out uh, just in random order Christopher C., Daniel, Mir, Jodas, Rulio, Egal, Dementor, Zeno, Alex, KR, Ducky, Maxis, Ogie, Vaughn, Strider, Tom, Sacred Egg. And live it. And Felatio, our favorite guy. Look at these fuckers. Yes. Hey, uh, people have bought stuff for the studio like Carl, Mike, Arthurian, Lennox, Drew, Aldius, Noctilus, John, Eshep, and Game underscore Mo underscore Tron. Thank you very much. I've smoked a lot of reefer because I misread that as find upstanding cannabis. You got to bring your true grills, <laughs> man. This is not fucking yeah, true grills man. in Damn true grills everyone. fashion. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Drink your own piss. LGC cares. <laughs> <laughs>